Well, sorry about the bright sun here, guys. It's blinding me. But look what's behind me. It's the box van. Uh, I was going to say it's back, but um, it never left. Uh, the misfire is apparently gone that we handled, and there's something else going on. Pete said it's not running right, stalls when you put it in gear. Let's take a listen. I don't know if you could tell, but that is not the same as before. Remember, this is the vehicle that had the two-cylinder misfire. And for for those of you that watched it, I believe it was the yeah, it was the front two-cylinder. So it was I think I think it was this one and and this one. Where's the coil wire? That's the coil wire. This one and this one that didn't contribute. There's no reason to do our cylinder drop test again. This is different symptom. When I first started this off camera, it was popping and backfiring through the intake. And uh, it, it definitely has a hard time taking fuel, but once you get it revved up, it seems to do okay. Listen again. The idle's pretty bad. It has actually improved tremendously since I warmed this up a little bit. And you know, the engine's not hot, but it's it's warmer. Let's uh let's take a look at some scan data real quick. Well there's a list of our codes. We're not worried about the fuel level sensor and evap pressure. And I remember we had some of these. Three, two, shift timing solenoid. Remember we were worried about the computer? Crank variation not learned. Knock sensor and misfire. Not worried about knock sensor, but engine miss, we are. Um, it is not cylinder specific, but let's uh, let's look at fuel trim real quick. The symptoms are there. Popping through the intake, especially cold. It's worse at low speed, better at higher speeds, higher RPMs. And what that's suggesting to me, guys, is that is suggesting we have a big vacuum leak. Watch these four right here. Yeah, buddy. Super lean. Short terms at 50%, long terms at 25%. We've maxed out on this one. You got your old school block learn integrator numbers over there too. That's kind of cool. Higher RPM with these. Drastic, drastic improvement at higher RPMs. I'm going to be using this one in my next class starting in like two weeks. Guys, this is a classic, classic vacuum leak. It's my favorite vacuum leak testing tool. Water. Ready? Here it is. There it is! There it is!
Yeah. So who's to blame here? This is the hard part about doing mobile diagnostics, guys, is you make a call on a vehicle, two-cylinder misfire, you take care of the misfire, which for those of you that haven't seen it, the misfire video is actually on Scanner Danner Premium. So if you're not part of that, there's a 14-day free trial. Sign up for it. You know, even if you sign up and then cancel your subscription at day 13, you will not be charged but you owe it to yourself to see that video where I did the two cylinder misfire on this but we fixed that and I get a call back that the vehicle still not running right and this would be something you'd run into as a mobile diagnostic guy which is why I always like to do this kind of work for garages I never like to do this type of work for independent people like private owners because if I go to their house and I tell them what they need to do and they do the repair and it's not done right then I have to go back to that house and you know drive there and if it's not my fault then I, I want to charge them again and it's difficult to do that you know when I'm down here at one of my garages it's not so difficult because I can tell them hey man you screwed up and that's what happened here this intake when it was put back on right where the injector seal is um, there it obviously it got that seal got either rolled over or torn and that's where it's leaking and so um, it's easy to work with my garages because I just pointed out and say hey fix that um, if this was a job that you guys did and let's say I had to drive a half an hour to a particular garage that's a half an hour there and a half an hour back you better believe I'd be charging them again this was not my fault this was built in this was a built-in problem and um, I would charge them but for Pete Pete lives five minutes not even five minutes he's literally a mile down the road from my house coming down here is no problem and he feeds me so much work that I am absolutely not charging him for this in fact I was doing some other work while I was here and I took a quick look at it and what I just showed you guys with the scan tool is what I did and I found that I just wanted to show it to you how easy is it again to identify a vacuum leak when you understand your fuel trim numbers and how easy is the water test I know some of you guys get on me about my water bottle and why don't you put a smoke machine on there and okay we can do that but how fast was it dumping water on the intake faster than you could ever hook up a smoke machine I promise you that and I'm outside and uh, why not I mean it took me two seconds to do so I love the water test fuel trims awesome for you guys that want more info on fuel trim I'll put a description in the uh, a description I'll put a link in the description of this video for understanding short-term and long-term fuel trim and you guys can uh, follow right along with me and I'll also put some other videos on vacuum leak testing that I've done in the past so that's it with this one guys classic vacuum leak I'll catch you next time